let's enjoy today and not worry about tomorrow. The River Blade descending from the heavens. Some players find that Levi doesn't deal enough damage, can't carry the team, and gets defeated too easily. This video will show you how to avoid these issues when playing Levi. 1. Low Damage When playing Levi, use Skill 1 to frequently dash into battle, where you can use his other skills to deal damage while dodging enemy attacks. In short, the key to playing Levi is to time his skills well. 2. Unable to carry the team When playing as Levi, players need to improve their match strategy and use combos to lead the pace. 3. Getting defeated too easily Levi often ends up getting obliterated as soon as he joins fights, because players haven't mastered keeping their distance from enemies and using skills at the right time. Studying countering relationships and strategy will help. <laughs> I'm as fast as a shooting star! Gain an advantage by understanding the finer points of Levi's skills and match strategy. It's all about being sensitive! Levi operates by alternating skills with basic attacks and using monsters and minions to unlock his ultimate. Use skill 1 to enter combat from afar, then use basic attacks to poke and accumulate sword energy. Skill 2 is used to avoid damage or increase damage output through Sunder. While the ultimate is used to avoid damage and deal high damage at the same time. Skill 1 can also be used to flee combat depending on the situation. <laughs> I'll be gone before you even hit the ground. Skill 1 and Basic Attacks Both Skill 1 and the Basic Attack can be used to cancel the backswing animation of the previous attack. Skill 1 also accumulates sword energy whenever it hits an enemy, so you can use a Basic Attack between the first two uses of Skill 1 to quickly unlock the ultimate. Skill 2 Skill 2's perimeter has a Sunder effect on monsters and enemy heroes, so learning to place it well will let you deal more damage and clear the jungle faster. This does take some practice though, so you might need to try a few times before you get it right. The Ultimate Levi's ultimate strikes enemies within range 5 times. The damage is maximized when attacking a single hero and is reduced when attacking multiple heroes at the same time. The Ultimate also makes him untargetable for even longer than skill 2, so use it at the right time to avoid lethal damage or crowd control skills. Don't put down your cup, bottoms up! Early game During the early game, Levi should focus on leveling up. Once he reaches level 4 through jungling, he should look for opportunities to gank in the mid or farm lane and set the pace. He can also head to the clash lane to help secure an advantage before going to another lane to assist. Mid game By the mid game, when he has the equipment he needs, he can use skill 1 with basic attacks to unlock his ultimate and jump into team fights. He can also use his short skill cooldowns to disrupt the enemy formation and use skills to clean up. Late game Once the enemies have better equipment, Levi should either use his ultimate to poke enemies during team fights or use skill 1's 2 strikes and skill 2's sunder to help the team deal more damage, then chase down enemies when they are at a disadvantage. <laughs> Let's see you parry this! Levi has several combos for different situations. Stroke of Genius! This is a great combo for taking out the carry. Use Skill 1's first two strikes to dash and inflict crowd control, using basic attacks between the two strikes. Then use Skill 2 to place Sunder on the enemy and follow up with the ultimate. Finish by using Skill 1 a third time to leave the battle. If you want to break the peace, you'll have to go through me first. This combo is used for tower diving. Use Skill 1 to dash, then weave in basic attacks to unlock the ultimate. Use the ultimate, then flee with Skill 1's third strike. Use Skill 2 last to become untargetable and avoid tower or enemy attacks. I deliver swift justice! When ambushed or attacked by multiple enemies at the same time, use 1, basic attack, 1, basic attack to attack the enemies in front and use the third strike to flee. When enemies get near, use Skill 2 and the ultimate to become untargetable for a long time. Then use Skill 1 twice to leave once its cooldown finishes. <laughs> Same to you! When attacking a tower with teammates, use minions or monsters to unlock the ultimate. Then use Skill 1 twice to reach the enemy and unleash it. After that, use Skill 1 a third time to flee. This easily reduces the enemy's health and helps drive them back.
that's war for you. It's kill or be killed. If the enemy is far away and there are no monsters or minions nearby, use the dashes from skill 1 to approach the target. Then use basic attack, 2, basic attack to deal damage with Sunder and unlock the ultimate. Finish with the ultimate and then use skill 1 again to flee the scene. Never before did I cry, until it was time for us to part. When playing Levi, we also need to pay attention to the lineups. Levi is good at cutting in and avoiding damage, so his burst damage can easily take out squishy and slow heroes like Lady Jen, Gen Mo, and Lu Bu. Heroes with lots of crowd control skills like Kui and Mozi can help Levi create space to deal damage. Marksmen who can deal sustained damage like Huang Zong and Aaron will supplement Levi's damage. Heroes with powerful crowd control skills like Liang will limit Levi's effectiveness. Consort Yu's skill 2 makes her immune to physical damage, making it harder for Levi to take her out.